We needed a little extra help in the test kitchen, so we decided to recruit baby number two. Hi, Choo Choo. big day in our house because Chloe is going to have her first real food. We've been giving her rice cereal with breast milk for a while, so today I decided to switch it up and it's time for vegetables. Butternut squash is in season, so I decided that would be her first food. I got this at the farmer's market and it is delicious. So you're going to take a chef's knife like this and put it down in the middle of the butternut squash like this. Get your muscle into it and just go down on one side like that and then you just want to turn it the other way to so be careful not to cut yourself and just like that people sometimes get intimidated by squash but they really aren't that difficult to cook at all the hardest part about them is cutting them in half and then you're just going to do the same thing on the other side like this and like this and then it just splits in half like that and you're just going to dig out the seeds. You can use a spoon or just your hands like this. They're so orange from all the beta carotene in them that sometimes your fingers get nice and orange like that. But all you're going to do is dig out these seeds and then you're going to put it onto a cookie sheet like this that's been lined with foil. That way they're easy to pull off. And you don't have to use water or anything. I just put them directly on the cookie sheet. That's it. Okay. And then like this, 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes until they're tender like this one. See? You can see? You stick a knife and it's tender and delicious. So then you're just going to take your spoon and spoon the inside of the butternut squash into a food processor. I, my, my food processor of choice for making baby food are these mini prep food processors because they're inexpensive and they really do a seriously good job of pureeing it into something smooth because especially babies when they're first starting out want a smooth, smooth texture. So it's a, it's, a, it's a good piece of equipment to have and I consider it an essential for making baby food. And that's it. Put it in. I'm actually, this is the other side. I'm going to use this to make a butternut soup, butternut squash soup for my husband and Kenya and I tonight by just adding a little chicken stock. So see, I've got like food for baby, food for us. It's so simple. I like to take off the top, just push everything down one more time. I mean, can you imagine anything more fast? This is so much easier and better than store-bought baby food. I mean, I got this entire squash for about two dollars. Two little jars are about a dollar each at the grocery, so this is so much more economical. And I like to use these freezer cubes. These are about two ounces, so that I can put a little bit of this puree in the freezer for another time. Close it up like that, so you have the perfect portion for baby, or I like to use these glass containers to keep in the refrigerator. I prefer the glass to the plastic, personally. All right, that's it. I'm just going to keep filling this up, and then we're going to get Chloe and see what she thinks. She tastes it. So creamy and delicious. Chloe's first taste of real food. This is a big moment, right, baby? Okay, you ready? Now offer the spoon, you see it? And, whoa, I'd say that she's more than ready for it. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like that? Butternut squash is such a good choice, too. <gasps> oh, I just want to put it right in her mouth. More? Oh, yeah. The, oh, oh, oh. For more fast, fresh, and easy recipes like this and more. Oh, yeah. This one's going to like some food. Check out Whoop.